The insane den the world's most terrifying supervolcano will wreak when it erupts. Researchers have pinpointed key warning points throughout the U.S. national parks that could hint at an imminent catastrophic eruption. The Yellowstone supervolcano has surprised and frightened researchers for decades in its sheer size. Scientists recently discovered the consistency of the magma in the bottom of the Yellowstone caldera is mostly slurry. That means the amount of molten rock beneath the supervolcano is much higher than previously thought. While researchers insist there is currently no sign of an imminent eruption, the findings paint a more detailed view of what was going on in the giant magma chamber beneath the national park. Despite this, scientists are still looking for tiny signs of possible Yellowstone. Erupt, including observing the ground which, if seen to rise, could signal the start of a major eruption. Such eruptions were explored during the Naked Science documentary, Super Volcano. Surface. The documentary's narrator explains, based on research by scientists, that all volcanoes give warnings when they prepare to erupt, and that one such eruption at Yellowstone would trigger the mother of all evacuations. The first sign of a Yellowstone eruption may be the rising of the ground, says the researchers. Just before Mount St. Helens erupted, it swelled up, growing five feet a day. Would probably lift the entire caldera, an area the size of Houston and Dallas, ten feet or more into the air. They continued. Weeks or even months before the Yellowstone super eruption, these warning signs will trigger the mother of all evacuations. The 60-mile area around the volcano will become a danger zone. Mill preparing people for a violent eruption. As people evacuate the area, geologists will be looking for new warning signs that will tell them an eruption is imminent. Yellowstone is one of 20 known supervolcanoes, volcanoes that have experienced eruptions with an index volcanic explosion 8. In the last 2.1 million years it has erupted three times, with the most recent event being 1,000 times as massive as the eruption of Mount St. Helens that devastated the U.S. in 1980. The last three eruptions have created what is known as a caldera, a giant cauldron-like depression that forms when a magma chamber empties, eventually forming a depression in the ground. Professor Bill McGuire, one of the world's foremost volcanologists, says in the documentary that shoulder earthquakes are seen when fresh magma moves into the system and breaks the rock above it. These earthquakes produce certain wave shapes on a seismograph just like rocks on a the area cracks and fractures, creating a sharp rise that fades quickly. long before the eruption, will be hit by these earthquakes, the vibrations that signal that an eruption is imminent. However, these signals will be much different from regular earthquakes, and will result in long, continuous tremors. Professor McGuire explains, now when magma has opened a space for itself, it will begin to move through it. And when it moves fast enough, it will start vibrating the walls of the crack or channel. And it will give you a sort of rumbling signal. Called a harmonic tremor, it sounds like the vibration of a large organ pipe and is the last warning sign before an eruption. Many plans have been made to try and stop future Yellowstone eruptions, including by NASA which once floated the idea of increasing the amount of water inside the volcano to extract heat from it and also reduce the risk of increased pressure.
This was deemed too difficult and too risky, not to mention the expense involved, so it was cancelled. While some argue that Yellowstone will erupt, the cycle of eruption seen every 725,000 years means there is still another 100,000 years to go.